Hi guys, in this video we will see how to find the moment of inertia of the solid cylinder about an axis which passes through its center of mass and is perpendicular to the length of the cylinder. So here we are considering a cylinder of total mass capital M, length small l, radius of curvature capital R and we are defining a quantity called the linear mass density linear mass density which is given by total mass of the cylinder divided by its total length which means this this is the term which corresponds to the mass of mass of the cylinder for its unit length now in order to find the moment of inertia of the cylinder when we rotate it about an axis z z prime we are again assuming that the cylinder is made up of a large number of consecutive discs and here we are considering one such disc which is having a thickness dy and which is at a length y from the z z prime axis or the axis which passes through the center of mass so for this disc what will be its mass the mass of the disc will be equal to the mass per unit length of the cylinder into the length or the thickness of the disc which is given by dy. So the mass of this disc is equal to m by l into dy. Now if you have to find the moment of inertia of this disc about the diameter. I am drawing the axis here. If you are considering this axis the moment of inertia of this disc about its diameter will be given by is equal to m by l dy into r square by 4. How? We know that for a disc of mass m and radius r its moment of inertia about the diameter is given by m r square by 4. Here instead of this m we have substituted the mass of the disc which is represented by m by l into dy into r square by 4. Now since this axis it passes through the center of the disc or the center of mass of the disc and it is parallel to the axis z z prime which passes through the center of mass of this cylinder in order to find the moment of inertia of this disc with respect to z z prime axis we can use the parallel axis theorem so using parallel axis theorem the moment of inertia of the disc about z z prime axis <clears throat> is given by the moment of inertia of the disc with respect to this axis which is parallel to z z prime that is m by l dy into r square by 4 plus the mass of the disc m by l into dy into the distance square which is y square here thus we got the moment of inertia of this disc with respect to is a is a prime now in order to find the moment of inertia of this entire solid cylinder we have to integrate it from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 which is the entire length of the cylinder therefore moment of inertia of entire cylinder is equal to i is equal to integral minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 m by l dy r square by 4 plus m by l dy into y square. On solving this integration, we get i is equal to first term m by l into r square by 4. We are taking it out and we are integrating dy from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 dy plus the second term we are taking m by l out and integrating y square from minus l by 2 to 
plus L by 2. This can be written as M by L R square by 4. On integrating dy, you will get y. Integration limits minus L by 2 to plus L by 2 plus M by L. Integrating y square, you will get y cube by 3. And integration limits minus L by 2 to plus L by 2. Here, M by L R square by 4. Applying the integration limit, you will get L by 2 minus minus L by 2, which is L by 2 plus L by 2. L by 2 plus L by 2, which is L here. Plus M by 3L. Applying the integration limit to Y cube, you will get L cube by 8 minus minus L cube by 8, which is again L cube by 8, which is 2 L cube by 8 here. This is equal to M by L R square by 4 into L plus M by 3 L do L cube by 4. Cancelling this L, you will get M R square by 4 plus M L square by 12. This is your moment of inertia for the solid cylinder about an axis which passes through its center of mass and perpendicular to the length.